Hey fellow space captains, Artillerymen here with another AI tutorial. In this episode I will cover weapon targeting mechanics, focus firing, micro delay and bouncy AI. Also I had it mentioned to me that the last episode was a bit meme heavy, I apologise for that. The memes were basically screen filler because although rudimentary, the animations I made to aid explanation are quite time consuming to put together. I will try and fill this and future episodes with more PSS related visuals. It was also pointed out to me that I may have made an oversimplification with seniority. That being that overriding seniority only works for new room damage. If a room has low enough HP when one of its priority repair crew dies, then all repair crew will have their AI trigger in order of seniority. For example, if I have a laser at 25% HP when one of the priority repair crew dies, it is possible to have a secondary repairer crew respond before the primary repair crew, since all repair AI conditions would be met. This is also the case when a room takes high enough damage in one shot. In most cases, a single shot will not cause this though. Micro delay is a great piece of AI. It's been around for a long time. It was already an established AI secret back when I started playing in August of 2017. To me, it is an essential piece of knowledge for any mid to high level player, and although I don't know who came up with it, I have a lot of respect for their achievement because back then not many people had looked into the game's mechanics and come up with a great AI strategy. We see a lot more of this kind of thinking now, and I hope by delving into the mechanics in these tutorials, I can help push people to come up with their own unique AI. Take it from me, if you find a good AI trick that no one else has figured out, it can make your ship damn near unstoppable, at least until people figure out what and how you are doing. If you don't know what micro delay is, it basically allows you to fire on two rooms of the same type at the same time. This is a great piece of AI to use to EMP both cannons on a larger ship at the same time or even to EMP both AA guns to allow your craft to fly safely. Back when penetration missiles did system damage it was also used to fire at different reactors to cause more repair disruptions. Before I show you how it works though I need to explain the mechanics behind weapon targeting in PSS. Weapon AI works the same as crew AI top down with channels as explained in episode 1. It also needs a way to pick which room to target. Unlike seniority we can't push weapons to target a particular instance of a room type. It's all handled behind the scenes. But we can force a target change. Keep in mind that this is my interpretation of how this works that I came up with via observations. The actual mechanics could be slightly varied but will work to the same effect. Maybe you can find an obscure mechanic others have missed to use to your advantage. When PSS loads up a battle, it assigns numbers to rooms. Say you have three lasers, it will say this is laser 1, this is laser 2 and this is laser 3. During the first tick of battle, the game will have a value of 1 stored somewhere. This is being simplified a bit, but is probably the best way to visualise it. Let's call this value target number. When your weapon AI says target laser, what it's really saying is target laser target number. This being the first tick, target number equals 1. Any target laser actions will target laser 1. In the next tick, target number will be 2. The game increases target number each tick. So now any target laser action will target laser 2. Next tick, they will target laser 3. This pattern will continue until the end of battle. From this we can see that any weapons that target a certain room type on the same tick will all target the same room. If there's more than one of that room type, then any that target that room type on the next tick will target any instance of that room that isn't the one that we just targeted. Keep in mind that you can't target dead rooms except with lower than HP conditions paired with the target condition room action. This brings us back to micro delay. The goal is to target both cannons with an EMP cannon and EMP missile. To do this, we have to delay one of the room's targeting of the cannons by one tick, hence the name micro delay. The AI to do this is, on the EMP cannon, none, max power, enemy has full shield, target cannon. On the missile room, none, 
max power, none, set highest EMP, target room has no friendly crew, target cannon, enemy has full shield, target reactor. Here's what it looks like in action. You don't have to use shield commands, but I like to just so there's no risk of a retargeting situation. Also on the missile room, you don't need to use a reactor in the last line. I just use it because it's a necessary room. There's no risk it won't be on the enemy ship. The only prerequisite is that the room you pick is a room that won't contain borders in it during the second tick of battle, which I'm not even sure is possible. One thing to note with this is that if the enemy has only one cannon, it will fire both rooms at the one cannon. Also, if there are no cannons, the missile will fire on reactors. You can set up multiple backup targets though. With the EMP cannon, just add backup targets under the cannon target. It's the same with the missile room, as long as that no border prerequisite is met. The AI can be swapped around. You can swap the delay over to the EMP cannon and it will work the same. How micro delay works is by delaying a room's targeting by one tick. In the previous example, the EMP will target cannons on tick one, meaning it will target cannon one. The missile will target a reactor on tick one. In the next tick, the missile room will see that there is no friendly crew in the reactor and swap its targeting to cannon target number, which will be cannon two. Now both rooms are targeting both enemy cannons. Focus firing is something pretty much all ships need in PSS. Basically, your targeting AI, until the addition of newer AI, can't target a dead room. Once a room is destroyed, your weapons will target the next one of that type. Once none of that type have HP, they would move on to the next listed target type. This isn't good when the goal of a battle is to score whole damage on an enemy ship, usually by shooting a damaged room. Back in the day, we had to focus fire by having no active conditions in our AI. For example, listing all targets with enemy full shield conditions so that when a room goes down, there is no AI active to cause a retarget. Now we have less than HP conditions. So we can just pop an enemy room HP is less than 25% target condition room at the top of our AI, and this will cause our weapons to continue or swap targeting to dead or near-death rooms. This can cause issues, however, if you use borders. Your weapons may end up targeting the rooms that you board instead of what you intended, which could lead to you taking out your own crew. A safer method may be to add target room destroyed, continue current job above your targeting AI. Another targeting mechanic I'd like to cover is swapping targets of the same room type. If you want to swap from one laser to another without destroying it, you can't just make a new condition with the same target. AI that does this is called bouncy AI. With this, you can bounce your attacks across many of the same room type. It looks great on craft. Let's say your enemy has three lasers again. Your hangar targets laser one in the first tick and you use a no shield condition to swap to lasers. This won't work because until you swap targets to a different room type, your AI will remember which laser it is targeting even when swapping which condition triggered the target laser action. To cause a swap, we have to target a different room type in between. This different room type I call an off room. The off room can occasionally get shot too, but the vast majority of shots will hit the desired rooms. A basic bouncy AI looks like this. This AI will target a laser room. Shoot it once, then target a reactor on the next tick due to the system damage it caused. On the following tick, it will notice there is no system damage on the reactor and swap back to targeting lasers. With a little ingenuity, this can be used to seek out enemy crew, empty rooms, or even possibly low HP and or armor rooms. This bouncy AI is in its most basic form and since barriers are no longer consumed on destruction, they have become more commonplace and will stop this AI in its tracks until destroyed. But bouncy AI can be written in many different ways. 
As a thought experiment, why don't you see if you can come up with a better one that is immune to barriers? I'm Artilleryman, and thanks for watching. If you found this episode informative, please like, share, and subscribe. The more these tutorials help people, the more I can make and the more detail I can put into showing more AI and strategies. Thank you.